Hello everyone and in today's video I am going to be talking about Florida. In case you didn't know this is their flag which is very similar to Alabama's flag only that they have their own selective flag except that the flag of Florida and Alabama is similar. In case you didn't know, it is right here. It borders Alabama and Georgia to the north. Uh, areas like Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, and things like that. But let's just say bodies of water to the south. And this is their seal, which is the great seal of the state of Florida in God we trust. Which is, as you can see, is similar to their flag. Country United States before statehood Florida territory admitted to the Union March 3rd, 1845 as 27th state. Capital Tallahassee, yes, the capital is Tallahassee. I was kind of surprised when there's a state called Tennessee and then their capital is Tallahassee. Their largest city is Jacksonville, while their largest metro is actually Miami. As you can see here, we have a good map of states and several thousands of the United States of America. From March 1822 to November 15, 1825. As you can see, the life in things are states, the dark green areas and disputed territories, the dark yellow areas are territories, while the gray areas are areas that were Kingdom of Hawaii, Russian America, part of Russia and all these areas which are part of Mexico. And as you guys can see here, Florida was a territory but all of its neighboring states like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, all were states but Florida was the only one here who was territory. Okay, now let's talk about some culture. The states close to approximately to the Austin influences many aspects of Florida culture and daily life. Florida is a reflection of influences in multiple inheritance. African, European, indigenous, Latino, and Asian heritage can be found in the architecture and cuisine. Florida has attracted many writers such as Marsuria Kina Rotmans, Ernest Ham Kinway, and Tennessee Williams. By the way, that's where the name Tennessee comes from. Just kidding, I don't know where that is. And continues to attract celebrities and athletes. It is internationally known for golf, tennis, outdoor racing, and water sports. And don't forget to Florida man. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Several beaches in Florida have turquoise and emerald colored coastal water. Now let's talk about some history. People known as Paleo Indians entered Florida at least 14,000 years ago. By the 16th century, the earliest time for which this historical record, major groups of people living in Florida, including the Apalache of the Florida Panhandle, the Timucha of Northern and Central Florida, and the Ice of the Central Atlantic Coast, and the Calchusa of Southwest Florida, with many smaller groups throughout what is now Florida. Then the Spanish colonized it, then they bought then the US bought the state from, from Spain, then it was a territory, then there was a, then they seceded from the Union to join the Confederate States of America, even though not a lot of people talk about them when they think of Confederate States of America, they just think of like Louisiana. I don't know, Virginia, the areas where they were the most battles, and things like that. Then there was the Reconstruction Era, Jim Crow laws, the population relatively, you know, relatively low at that time. World War One happened, World War Two happened. And then after World War Two, a huge number of people started to move to Florida. Now you might ask why they were waiting to every but they were waiting for the end of World War II. Well, this was mostly because it was after the World War II that things like fans were invented, mostly because in Florida, 
courtesy thought, even though I never visited it, I would love to visit. I just know it. I just know it would get crazy hot in there, and people could not just live like in crazy hot without even a fan. And since it was after the World War II that the fans were invented, a lot of people would start to move at that time. Language. In 1988, English was affirmed as the state's official language in the Florida Constitution. Spanish is also widely spoken, especially as immigration has continued from Latin America. 20% of the population speaks Spanish as their first language. 27% of Florida population reports English, reports speaking a mother language other than English and more than 200 first languages other than English are spoken at home in a state in that state. The most common language spoken in Florida as a first language in 2020 to 2010 are by the way the data is from 2010 so the data is like 11 years old so of course this may have changed. 73% English, 20% Spanish 2% Haiti in Creole, oddly enough. This was mostly because, you know, Haiti is an island. Haiti is kind of close to, kind of close to Florida. There's a lot of poverty going on, so of course people are going to flee there illegally most of the time. Other languages, less than 1% each. Demographics. In terms of demographics, the majority of the population is white, of course with them making up 75.5% of the population, followed by black or African Americans who make up 16% of the population. Other races include 2.99%, two or more races 2.74%, Asian 2.73%, which is very close, by the way. Native Americans make up 0.28%, Na- Na- Native Hawaii or Pacific Islanders make up only 0.0%. As you guys can see here, I have a very cool map of different types of ethnicities around the world. Uh, the red areas include the Arabs, the yellow area includes people, Arab people who have a black skin majority of the time. Red area includes people who have white skin. Brown things include people who have orange skin. And the uh, purple includes people who are like mestizos. And yeah, this is a very cool map, but I still got surprised, like, what is South Africa and Botswana? Like, they are light brown and gray, so that's kind of odd. And then also, the thing with the coastal layers of Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Somalia, Djibouti, who are also, like, dark yellow, so I don't know what is that. And yeah, and also, the island of Papua New Guinea, who is light green, so yeah. Here we have a density map of Florida. As you guys can see, the majority of the population lives near the beach with areas like Miami, Orlando, of course, being the most populated one. While the most central you go, the less people you see. And by the way, the center of Florida, you know, the center area, are also home for, you know, the crazy things like the lot of Confederacy monuments in central of the state. By the coastal areas, you see less crazy things, but the more central you go, the more crazy things. Yeah. In terms of the most popular city, Jaipur is of course the most popular one, with 890,000, followed by Miami, which has half of its population, followed by Tampa, Orlando, St. Petersburg, yes, St. Petersburg. I was doing more research from another side this time, so I had to search it up if it was actually true. And actually, there's a city called St. Petersburg in Florida. And then there's Hylia, Tallahassee, which is the capital, called St. Lucia, and Cape Coral. Now, their governor is Ron de Santiste, while the legislature government is Janette Nunez, there, while the legislature is Florida legislator. Upper House, the Senate, the Lower House, House of Representatives, the Judiciary is Supreme Court of Florida, the U.S. Senator is Marco Rubio and Rick Scott, who are all Republicans, 
In terms of U.S. House delegation, 16, per 16 are Republicans, 10 are Democrats, and one is vacancy, which I don't know what it is. Let's see what we have. In terms of the area, they are ranked 22nd state. Uh, their elevation is 100 feet, aka 30 meters above sea level, which is very low. Their highest elevation is only 345 feet, 105 meters at Brilston Hill. Uh, their lowest elevation is at Atlantic Ocean at 0 feet. Uh, their rank in population is they are third after California and Texas. The density rank is 8. The median household income is 3,267, which is considered a forty, which is very bad. Like a lot of cities are like highly expensive in Florida, like Miami, Orlando, and since you know their income, household income is very low, it's kind of depressing. But a lot of people who move to nowadays try to move to the retiree, so they don't have to worry about you know. Get, you know, working since a lot of them have had leaves. Florida has 67 counties in total, and here you have all of them. Like in Central Florida, this is the Great Orlando, this is the Big Bend, Natural Coast, North of Florida, Gainesville Metropolitan Area, First Coast, Jack Square Metropolitan Area, North of Florida, and we can just go on and on. In terms of, let's see, there is the competition. Black or African Americans alone used to make up 50.3% of the population in 1917. It declined only 31.6%. It increased again by 41.6%. Then it is now it's recovering for that 16%. And now in 2018, it is 16.9%. Asian alone populations have also skyrocketed from 0.2% to 3%, but it is still not a lot. Hispanic or Latinos are definitely going to see this extreme explosion from 6.6% to 26%. Native Americans alone have also seen a population increase, while two or more races have declined since there was no data in 1970 and 1990. But in 2000, it was 2.3%, in 2010, it was 2.5%, and in 2018, it was at its lowest, in 2.2%. White, white alone, non, not Hispanic or Latinos, used to make up 77% of the population, but now they only make up 53%. Uh, white alone, apparently, used to make up 84% of the population, but now they make up 77% of the population, which is kind of weird. You know, since it's white alone, not Hispanic or Latino, and then now it's white alone. Uh, I didn't understand that. Now, in terms of their historical population, as you can see, the number of population growth has always been in double digits. It was never in three digits, but it was never as a one digit. Unlike other states, who would see the most explosion in the, like, the recent years, like 1830, 1840, their biggest explosion was in 1960, where the population would increase 78%. Yeah. Uh, it was at its peak at 1980, with 3%, but from 1980, it has declined, and in 2020, it was only 14.6%. In 2010, 6.9% of the population considered themselves to be of only American ancestry, regardless of race or ethnicity. Many of these were of English or Scot Irish descent. However, their families have lived in the state for so long they choose to identify as having American ancestry or do not know their ancestry. In 1980, United States Census, the largest ancestry group reported in Florida was English, of course, with 2,232,514 Floridians. By the way, how do you say? Do you say Floridians? Floridians or do you say Floridians? I don't know. Claiming they were of English or mostly English American ancestry. Some of their ancestry went back to the original 13 colonies. As of 2010, those of non-Hispanic white European ancestry accounted for 
57.9% of the Florida population. Out of 57.9%, the largest groups were the German at 5.5%, Irish at 10%, English at 8.8%, Italian at 6.6%, Polish at 2.8%, French at 2.7%. White Americans of all European backgrounds are present in all areas of the state. In 1970, the non-Hispanic whites were nearly 80% of the Florida population. Those of English and Irish ancestry are present in large numbers in all the urban, suburban areas across the state. Some native white Floridians, especially those who have descended from long-time Florida families, may refer to themselves as Florida crackers. Others see the term as the derogatory one. Like whites in most of the states in the southern US, they descend mainly from English and Scots Irish settlers, as well as some British American settlers. In terms of religion, Protestantism is, of course, the largest religion. Uh, actually, it's a denomination of Christianity, so Protestantism is the largest. Type of religion, let's just say 46% of the population are attracted as the West. Such Catholics make up 21%, and nothing in particular is 17%. Imagine if someone asks you, hey, what is your religion? And you say, you know, nothing in particular. That's kind of funny. Uh, 4% is agonistic, 3% is atheist, 3% is Jewish, 1% Mormon, oddly enough. Uh, 1% Javon Witness, uh, which are a uh, Christian denomination. Uh, other Christian include 1%, and other faiths, example, Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, and Sikhism, all include 3%. In terms of tourism, the some of the iconic places might include places like Wade, Disney World, Resort in Bay Lake, Florida near Orlando, Port Miami, which is the world's largest cruise ship, and visitors at the beach is Naples, Florida. Yes, they tend to have seen St. Petersburg, Florida, and Naples, Florida. In Florida, we have a couple of universities like Florida AMS, Semi University, Florida Atlantic University, Florida Gulf Coast University, Florida International University, Florida Polytechnic. University of Florida State University, New College of Florida, University of Central Florida, University of Florida, University of North Florida, University of South Florida, University of West Florida. Yeah, they have a couple of them. And in terms of their international airports, they tend to have also quite a bit with Orlando International Airport being the most famous one. Followed very closely by Miami International Airport, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport, Tampa International Airport, Southwest Florida International Airport, Palm Beach International Airport, and last but not least, Jacksonville International Airport. In terms of the sister states, which I totally don't know what is it, uh, the sister state is Lauren del Roisina, which is a former administrator region of France. On January 1st, 2016, joined with the region of Midi Fire to become Ostane. Uh, this is a Taiwan province. Yes, they dare to say it as a province. Yeah, it's funny how they say it here the Republic of Taiwan, Republic of China, Taiwan, ROC, and then it's Taiwan province. Oh my god. And then there's Wakamawa Prefecture, Western Cape, uh, Nueva Esparta, and oddly enough, Kuanji. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button, share this video with your friends, and if you have not already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!